Okay, good morning, good morning. I am about to make some, I guess you could call it pineapple, pineapple ginger green tea. I have the core left from a pineapple that I saved. I am going to add two quarts of water. I'm gonna break off this little knob and peel it and put inside. And this is the green tea that I found. So I'm gonna put one or two bags in here, depending on, let's just see what it tells us how to make it. One cup, 20, da 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 da. Okay, right here. Water, eight ounces, one to two bags. So I'll probably put five bags. So I don't want it too strong and I don't want it too weak. So I'll start with five bags six bags just to make it easier because eight bags is what I should need for two quarts of water in my mind but anyhow so like I said we're going to put the pineapple core this is core only because we didn't want to waste it we want to get some flavor from it the water and the ginger into the pot bring it to a bowl and then we'll add the tea and let it steep hang tight let me get everything in the pot okay and my last quart of water, we're gonna turn the pot on high heat and let it come to a bowl while I peel this little piece of ginger. Um, it does not have to be a perfect peel, just peel it. Where it is, you could take the back of a knife and just scrape it and peel it, or you could take a spoon and peel garlic. So do what's best for you. I'm gonna peel it and I'm gonna slice it in little slices and throw it in. As you can see, the pineapple core pieces and the water is going okay let me peel this joint the peeled ginger knob you could use less you could use more depending on how much you like ginger ginger is a strong root root vegetable or whatever so that's your judgment i'm just gonna slice him like that and put him in it's one little piece I cut into quarters. Okay, so we're gonna let everybody come to a bowl and then we'll go ahead and get the tea ready in the meantime while we wait. Hang tight people, we making us some pineapple ginger tea. Hold on. Okay, so it's coming up to this good bowl. I am gonna, once it really, really comes up to a bowl, I'm off the heat and I like to steep with the lid on. So that's what I'll be doing. It's up to you to use it or use a lid or not. But the goal here is to use that pineapple core rather than waste it. With food costs being where it is right now, I want every drop of what I can get. I'm getting fiber from this. And also it's good for digestive health, which is something I've been having problem with lately. So, see it boiling? Now let's add those six tea bags, right? I off the heat already. I want to leave the pot on this burner. This is an electric stove, so as you are, anyone who cooks with an electric stove know, it's still cooking even though it's off because the element has to cool. Okay, I want to make sure all my tea bags are good and wet before I close the lid off. Very good. See here, I set my timer, five minutes. And I'll be back to see what we have. Okay, the timer is going off. Very good. So now I'm just going to move it over and allow it to continue steeping for a few minutes more with absolutely no heat. I'll probably leave this like this, me personally, for 15 minutes. I'm not gonna fool with it. This time it'll be 15 minutes and once it's done, I can either drink it warm or over ice. I'm gonna taste it warm first and then decide if I want ice on it. And I might ought to taste it now. Let me get a spoon, hang tight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, get a spoon. Okay, so I'm gonna stir it around and see if the tea flavor is here. And if it's not, I'll add another two or three bags because the instructions on the box, one, one to two bags per cup. I never use two bags in any tea I make, so 
I'm thinking this right here do it because I did put two quarts of water, right? Oh, it smells good. All I smell is pineapple. Very good. <laughs> I'm not going to add any sugar or anything to this in my mind. Okay? Stir it around a little bit first. Make sure. Get the sweetness of that pine's apple. Okay? Very good. Taste that tea. Mm. But it do need some sweetening. I'll probably use something natural. And not much. Because I don't want this taste to overbear it. But anyhow. I'm going to just leave it 15 minutes to cool naturally. With the bag still in there steeping. Okay? 15 minutes, guys. 15 minutes, and now we have tea. Okay, it's looking a little greenish, y'all. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out the bags. I'm gonna take them out, and then I'm gonna strain the liquids through. So we're, gonna, we're not gonna keep those pineapples, okay? It's still hot, so it looks like I'm gonna be tasting it hot, okay? Let me get the cup. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I need a strainer. Strainer. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pour. Not quite a full cup because, you know, it don't taste delicious. Let me see here. So I'm going to make that big of a mess. But I'm still making one, people. Believe me. When I tell you I'm ill. <laughs> Woo! All right. Let's get that up. Okay. Still have to... Get all the rest of it out, right? Y'all see that? Pineapple green tea. Now let's see. Helping my belly. Oh yes, oh yes. So I'm gonna strain the rest of this and then um, refrigerate it. I'm only gonna drink one hot cause it's kinda rough on me. Enjoy. Toodles.